fam, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we got a we got a great and exciting chat um, with Fitz from Two Seven Five, and I'm really looking forward to this chat. Um, we've been trying to tee this up for a little while, so hopefully I can bring him on. Here we go. Okay, we've invited him. So, brother, hey, bro. Classic live, eh? Like the five first five minutes is always like a like a glitch up before you can get anybody on. <laughs> How are you, man? How you doing? No, I'm good, brother. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good, bro. Just want to make sure you can hear me clearly, Cle pretty clear, or are you okay? Uh, yeah, bro. I can okay. hear you. Yep. E easy, man. And honestly, Fitz, thanks for jumping on and doing this chat with us, man. Uh, I really appreciate it, you know, and uh, I know we've been trying to tee this up for like pretty much before Christmas. So yeah. thanks for jumping on and we'll, we'll make it short and sharp. Um, you know, just just a couple of questions and a couple of conversations there, and a couple of ideas, which are, you know, I, I know you'll be keen to talk about. And I know you've been in this, you know, business game, and you know, with your studio plus the clothing label and barbershop, you know, you you pretty much do the lot. And um, you know, I, I know there's a lot of kids that are going to get a lot of value, and a lot of young fellas <coughs> uh, are definitely going to get a lot of value as well. So appreciate your time, man. No, thanks for having me on here, brother. Easy, man. I love your work too, bro. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. Now, uh, first question, bro. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about your brand and also like, you know, and yep. the main purpose behind Two Seven Five. Um, so a little bit about the brand. Obviously, uh, a lot of people know Two Seven Five is the um, first three digits of the phone number for Mangere. Yeah. Um, and what we've done is we've basically just sort of um, put a new spin on it and spelt it out in letters, nice. and that and. And um, we're trying to put a positive spin on it. So for, for many years, a lot of us growing up, uh, we identified it as a numbers. And, and I know a lot of people um, will agree with me when, when you rip your numbers, you're ripping your hood. So like, for example, you can go rip it in a negative way. Yeah. But as I got older and as, as the community who, 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 like me, got older, we realize that, you know, there's other ways of representing our neighborhood. Yeah. Um, and so we, and so we're just representing it in a positive manner. The positive light has always been there. Um, it's just that um, some of us weren't taught to represent it positively. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah so, so for us who, who walked that path and now grown out of it and representing it positively, we're hoping that the kids coming through, We'll just rip it positive, positively as well, if nice. that makes sense. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, like you're flipping the negative into positive. You know, and uh, and that's 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 something inspiring, to be honest. And is there, is I'm guessing there's a sense of identity, <coughs> you know, behind behind the brand as well, right? So the, the, it, it, people wearing the clothing label, it's it's all about purpose and understanding where they're from and and things like that. I'm guessing, right? Yeah, basically. So. So all, all I'm trying to do is um, get get Mangere to support Mangere, you yep. know, because if we sort of like try and look after the world, yep. there's so many people that get um, lost through the cracks. So if 100%. we just connect, if we just connect as a village, not not taking anything away from any other suburbs or anything, but if yep. Mangere connects at a, at a village to help raise Mangere, it, it, it'll just be a lot better for everyone coming through and it'll be 100%. easier to find those find those cracks in the system or find yeah, those 100%. cracks within the community that needs help 100 percent. and you know i've gone through your page you know it's it's, it's a lot it's not only the clothing label it's a, it's a lot about community right you know you talk a lot about peace you know you talk a lot about love you know and and i think with all of that into play you know is it more like you know it's a family environment with with the with the brand as well that you're trying Def to get across? Definite, yeah, definitely a family environment. Like, um, like you know, you know, our community is a, a lot of Polynesians and Indigenous, and uh, our Indigenous ways is all about community. It's all about unity. So it's just exactly. sort of bringing back that those Indigenous, those in, that Indigenous lifestyle back to this Western society that we've been brought up in, and, and that we've sort of forgotten about. 100%. You know what I mean? And you know, because. How old were you when you when you sort of like when you decided in your head you're like oh I'm gonna start a label, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna open a studio and a barber shop. Like you know, I feel it feels like you do everything, man. <laughs> no, nah, well, uh, wait, we, to, to to be quite honest, like uh, yeah. um, I started I I only started thinking of a brand uh in 2018. Yeah. Um, and in order for you to start a brand, you need to have something that's dear to your heart. And for me, what I found dear to my heart was my neighborhood of Mangere. I've always repped my hood, like, dearly since, since a youngin. So I thought that Man. there's no better way to... The... No, that's epic. You yeah. pull strength from, the, from, from, from where you're from. And I, I guess that's really, really powerful. And for, for young fellas, you know, thinking about starting a brand and things like that, like, is there in anything, like, if you could go back to being, like... You know, like 2018 wasn't that long ago. If you could go back to 2016-15, is there anything that you would do differently? Um, not really, because because the way your journey is is the way it is. You like whatever you learn along the way is what you learn along the way, and the way you are, what you are today is because of what you walked in the past. So you yeah. can't really take anything away in your journey. No, that's powerful. That's powerful. And, you know, in terms of like, in terms of the actual, like the, the brand and all the business side, you know, with, with obviously COVID and things like that, is, has that, has that been like quite a hard deal to manage with everything um, going on in the world at the moment? It, it, it has in terms of all these new systems and stuff. Yeah. Um, but, but we're fortunate that we've got online sales. And so if, if, uh, if, if one part of your business slows down in one area, You've got another part of your business to pick it up. Yeah. So when, when we went through the first lockdown in, I think it was 2019, March 2019, um, we were fortunate enough that we had clothing in our store. So yeah. those four weeks that we were locked down, no one was going to work. Everyone was staying home, saving their money. And then when we started promoting our stuff, um, a lot of people started supporting locals because it was all about supporting locals. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, it's yeah. pretty much, it's pretty much our local community that got us through, or it's, it's pretty much our local community that gets us through the lockdowns. Yeah, you know, wow. all the love from our, yeah, all the love from our neighborhood. Yeah, wow. Now, it's all, like, I'm, like I guess it's like, it goes back to community, you know, community keeping each other alive, and it, it's awesome to hear, man. And that's, well, that's, that's exactly it, bro. Yeah. That's exactly it. It's, it's, it's making sure that you have a team or you have people with you to help you stay, um, stay above water, really. Yeah, because you know, if you if you can't swim, there's someone there to help you stay afloat, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah that, that that makes sense. Um, you know, at at Beer Wolf, bro, we're, we're all about you know like breaking negative stereotypes in in South Auckland, and you know like helping people sort of live the greatest <coughs> life and be the greatest version of themselves. And, um, you know, what you're doing is, is like, I've been following you pretty much since day dot. And, you know, it's, it's, it's been inspiring to see you not like, you know, grow and even like, you know, the things you're doing, you know, it, it's so inspiring to, to even me. And I think if we could like, you know, dive a little bit deeper in terms of like, you know, like the setbacks and, and things like that, is there, is there anything that you can sort of like share with us <coughs> that, you know, from your past where, you know, I, I'm guessing a lot of listeners are going to be able to relate to, be able to get to this position where you're at now um, mm. with the brand and things like that, you know, because you're managing a lot of people, you know, you're giving kids outlets, you know, you, you work and things like that, you know. So is there, is there anything that to even get to that position that you can share with us? Um, are you talking about past as in growing up past yeah. or just? Yeah, yeah um, growing up. Uh, I can't really. I uh, I would say I had a pretty good upbringing. Yeah. You know, so um, sit back. Uh, I'm not too sure, bro. Like a lot, a lot of setbacks, a lot of setbacks. You gotta just take. Uh, we, we, when you when you go through a moment of setback, it's really a yeah. time to reflect. It's really a time to reflect on what went wrong and how you can improve on on the situation. Yeah. Um, but in terms of my setbacks, bro, like, nah, not really. Uh, I, like, I, I had I had children at a young age. Yeah. And yeah. and 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 I wouldn't say that's a setback. Yeah. But I was yeah, I was would, forced. Right? I, yeah. Like, like, oh my god, I've got my, I've got a big big shoulder on my back now. I got to carry all the kids. You know, I don't know how yeah, to like, do the. Pa- 
Yeah, 100%. So, so I, I, I've always wanted to get into business, but when I, when I had a child, like I've got two ch- children now, I was yeah. a young parent, uh, my focus was on being a father first. So it's not a setback, but it's, yeah. it, it was really a positive, a positive thing to get away from, uh, take away yeah. from it. There, yeah. No, that makes sense. And, and yeah. you know, like going back to, because I feel like in, in our community, uh, you know, what you're doing, like, you know, giving outlets, you know, and I think outlets is, is needed, especially to, you know, get people on the right track if they're not on the right track. And mm. uh, like with, with the, with the barbershop and things like that, I, do you feel like, cause I go like when I go get a haircut, you know, it feels like for men, it's like a therapy session, you know, cause it's like mm. they have two conversations both ways, you know, and a lot of the times like when, when people go get a haircut, you know, that sometimes that's the only conversation they have. Like, is that just, do you, do you have any stories like that that you can share with us or? Um, well, but I don't actually cut hair, eh? Yeah. So, um, my barbers will have a, have a lot of stories to tell, but, um, I mean, what was the question, bro? Sorry, man. Like, got... like say, so, cause I, I know there's been a lot of stories in the past where like, you know, for example, men go get a haircut and they, they have a conversation with the barber and sometimes it's the only conversation they, they literally have and it goes back to, you know, mental health and things like that. Yeah. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's, that's a little bit of an outlet because your shop, obviously the barber, barber shop side does a lot of that as well. And then I'm guessing the yeah. studio side ha- is another outlet for kids to like get produce music and things like that. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's right, bro. Like, so the way I see it, man, is like when you, when you're coming through school and you're coming as a kid, like you've got two options. Like you're either um in the books, yeah. and you know hang out at the library and you just do your work, and then you're in sports. Yeah. Um, but then where, where's the guys in the middle? You know, yeah, the and those guys, those guys in the middle are the ones that usually get lost through the cracks. Yeah. So we're trying to create, we're trying to create that space where it's like, yo, you can come and kick back here. If yeah. You can come kick back here and then talk and um just liaise with with people who sort of understand what they're going through yeah, and, and sort of uh, are able to guide them in a way. Um, yeah, 100%. But uh, uh, yeah, in terms of mental health, I mean, it's just creating that space where it's, it's all right to talk about, it's all right to talk about whatever, you know, like 100%. real talk, like it's real talk, bro. Like, like if you're having a hard day or, you know, if you've got, like it's just whatever you what whatever's on your shoulder really, on yeah, your 100%. chest. No, 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 that's that's powerful, man. And and if it's, if, uh, if if you could if you could give advice around you know like young people thinking about starting a brand, right? Is there anything that that they can think about, like in terms of like starting, like if they if they're a little bit too nervous to start, you know, what 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 would you say? Like, you know, like when you got to that point two, three years ago, you're like, oh, I'm going to start a label. Did you just do it and think later? Or did you just execute? Or what did you do? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I pretty much just executed. Because a lot of people, will, especially when they think of a brand and a label, they'll be stuck yeah. on a name for so long. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, they could yeah. be stuck on a name for two, for two months. Yeah. When if they just get the name and just go with it, you know, that's already two months' work they could have already done. 100%. So I, I would say, bro, just just, just do it. Just execute. Yeah. But you must believe in it. Because if you can't really promote your brand to other people to believe in if you don't believe in it yourself. Yeah, that's true. It's mm. the self-belief part, eh? The self-belief part is, uh, is, is a, a big thing, yeah. yeah. It's a big thing. If you, if you could talk about community a little bit, like, is there, is there anything that you'd like to see especially in South Auckland, Mangri, Otara, you know, Rewa. Is there anything, like, any, any message you could, you could put out to, to anybody? Um, for myself, bro, I, I would just like to see more hubs. More hubs where, where there's a lot more things for kids to do. Yeah. I mean, you know, a lot more, a lot more involvement in the community and a lot more, a lot more adults being involved in that. Involved. Guiding our involved. guiding our yeah involvement and guiding our kids. You know, and, and, and just a place place for our kids to just have someone to go talk to. Because some kids can't talk to their parents about certain things. And then when they have no one to turn to, 
that's when they go down yeah. downhill. So it's all 100%. about just having that place to, uh, for people to talk to. Yeah, really? No, that's 100%. 100%. And at Beer Wolf, honestly, bro, we talk about that same stuff, you know, that 16 to 25 phase being so yep. vital. You know, it's being so vital. And, you know, being like, you know, <coughs> I, I know I know we've got a pretty humble environment in, in, in South Auckland. Being Pacifica, I'm from Fiji, bro. And like, you know, most people are real, like, you know, they're humble. They don't really like showing off what they do. And I, I feel like in order for us to have role models, like you have to be able to express yourself so other people can get inspired. And I feel like what mm. you're doing, you know, people can see what you're doing. And it, I, I'm, I'm hoping that inspires the next generation, you know? And I, I guess, I guess like, you know, we talked before briefly and you said, you know, it's all about the next generation, you know, like half the things you're doing, you know, I, I guess it's all about breaking a cycle. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And, and because we're, a lot of us are humble people, yeah. um, like say for yourself, like, if you know your mate's doing well, yeah. and and he's real, he's a real dude, but he's humble and he keeps to himself. It's your responsibility to lift him up and talk him up. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and share what he does to everyone. That's so true. That's so that, so that true. And, and that's what we try and do with our platform is use our platform to show all this talent that Mangere has. Because man, there's just so much. It's just so much talent, not just in Mangere, but South Auckland and everywhere in general. Yeah, 100%. You know and I, mean? guess, I, guess, I guess sometimes, like you said, you know, like there's so much talent, but it goes back to, you know, like with the follow through and like what you've done, you know, the last two years, you've been consistent, you know, and uh, I, I, guess, I guess that's big. And is there, is there anything that you, like in terms of even if you could give me advice, like how do you, how do you keep yourself going in life? Um, it's good to have a good support system. Yeah. It's good to have a team with you. Like, like my team knows, bro, I have my days. And, and they just say, bro, stay home, have a rest. And it's all good to rest. Like, there's a lot of stuff on, online where it says, the, you got to do, you got to work hard even when you're tired. Like, that's <laughs> true. That's true. But rest is just as important. Yeah, you know I what I mean? And, I and even though you're resting, your mind is still working. Yeah. So you're still, um, you're still working. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? hundred percent. hundred percent. I remember like just before Christmas when we were talking, you're like, oh, even wolves need to rest. And I actually thought about that. I was like, man, I actually need a little bit of a break. Uh, so I literally took like two weeks off and I just came back like way more refreshed. You know what I mean? So, you know, just moments like that, like you don't really think about it because you're in the rush. And I feel like I'm at fault with yep. that. You know, like sometimes I just keep going, you know, like, and I don't think about having a break and just adjust, like thinking and appreciating the moment, you know? So now you're right, man. Breaks, breaks are super important. Um, to, yeah, to taking time going. to reflect. Yeah, reflecting, yeah. reflecting on what you've done and, and where you've got to move to is definitely important. You know, <laughs> it's just like chess. It's just like chess. You don't just move. You got to think about what moves you're doing, because yeah. every move has a you know every action has a reaction. So you got to make sure you know that when you do move, it's a move that actually makes sense. You're not just yeah. moving for nothing. Yep. Yeah. No. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And you know, let's let's talk about because obviously the relationship about with you. And like managing people and things like that. I, I, I like talking about this a little bit. You know, like what's, what's, what kind of like culture do you like, like do you bring in the team? You know, like what, what, what kind of environment, if there's anything you could put into words for us? Um, that you stand so, for personally. That you stand for personally. So I, like I don't look at myself as a boss. Yeah. Because in, in, in a business, everyone plays their part. So I play my part in order for the business to move forward and the barbers play their part to, in order for the business to move forward. The engineer has his part, to, you know, and we, at the end of the day, we're all equal. Yeah. Because we all play our own parts in order for the machine to work. So um, when it comes to managing, it's just like we have meetings or debriefs. Yeah. And then we just talk about um, what we need. It's, it's like, all ideas, any ideas is, is a great idea, really. Like, yeah. it's all about empowering. It's all about empowering each other to not be, um, to not be shy of, of 
their ideas. Yeah. Because we all got good ideas, and it's it's up to each other to help support those ideas instead of shutting yeah. each other's ideas down. Yeah. Yeah. So my managing style is just let everybody not let everybody do what they want to do, but let everybody have their own power in the way they run themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Really? No, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, no, that's awesome, man. And last couple of questions, because we've only got maybe eight minutes left here. Um, what, what, what are you most grateful for in the last sort of two years with COVID all happening and the whole scenario and, you know, with businesses and things like that? If we put everything aside, what, what do you think you're most grateful for at the moment? Man, I'm just still grateful that I, I still have a home. I still have my family. We can still eat. You know, I can still have a bed to sleep on. I can still walk to my I can still walk to my tap and turn it on and get some clean yeah. water. Yeah. Like, you know, it's all those simple things. Like I'm still able to walk freely. Because I mean, I've got a knee injury. It, it's healing. Yeah. But then having that knee injury makes me realize how much I take walking for granted. Yeah, so you know, it's true. all it's all these simple things that that I'm grateful for. You know, I'm grateful oh, wow. that I could see. I'm grateful that I could breathe. You know? No, that's awesome. so, yeah, that's what yeah. I'm grateful for, really, bro. That's awesome, man. And last thing, last question for you, and I'll, and I'll let you go. If you could, if you could, like, because obviously, be all saw about giving tips of the days on the daily, and you probably see our videos all the time. Yeah, if bro. You could, if you could give us either one tip you've had, or someone's told you, or something that you can pass on to me or the listeners, what would it be? Anything you want. Man. Um, if you could literally have the mic and the whole world's listening, what would you do? <laughs> oh, that's a bit of pressure. Eh? Like, it's, just, <laughs> it's just really just believe in yourself, really. You know, and yep. just be a good person, bro. Just, just be a good human being. You know, you can, you can, you can own, you can own, you know, all the property in the world, and you can have a million dollars, you can have the yachts or whatever. But if you're not a good person, bro, it doesn't mean jack. So I would just say just be a good human being, bro. And just so just share the love. It's all love. Put love first. Oh, man, that's awesome. That's awesome, Fit. Honestly, appreciate it, eh? And uh, last couple of words for me, man. Thanks thanks for jumping on board, especially so last minute. And, um, you know, I'll honestly post this up. And obviously, a lot of people are going to listen to it at a later date as well. And I appreciate your time. And... And I know, I know, like, it took us a little while to get here, but I'm, I'm glad we had this chat. And uh, hopefully, we can do another one real soon. And appreciate your time, bro. No, thank you for having me, bro. And keep up those uh, be a wolf um, posts, bro. I love it. Eh? Uh, yeah. That's my that's my little motivation sometimes when <laughs> I check it. And the energy that you put through the camera is good, bro. Keep it up, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate, it, man. Have a good night, eh? Take it easy. Yeah, likewise, brother. See ya. Yep.